Uh, Lanier MP or vote back in, what do you suppose the British government do about the terrorist group ISIS and what is the difference between burning a Jordanian pilot alive in a cage and forcing a dairy man to go involvement to an army checkpoint? Is that to me? Yes, that's to me. Well, I, I suppose I look at ISIS and, and you have to look at the strategy that ISIS is involved in um, and, and those horrific beheadings and, and burning people alive are actually meant to horrify uh, and do horrify. I always think, and I, I had this discussion in New York shortly after 9-11, where in a debate with, uh, with students in, in, uh, in a university there, we were talking about 9-11, and it isn't enough just to say it's horrific. That doesn't do it. It might be horrific. You actually have to ask yourself the question, why are these people doing these things? And then you have to go back and say, how can we engage with these people to challenge them on why they're doing these things and how they're doing these things? Um, and then you have to get into dialogue. So horrific as it might seem, those people who are, who are doing all of those horrific things, they're looking to provoke America and the British and other European forces and they bring in troops into those areas. They're looking to polarise their communities. They're looking to do all of that. Uh, and that's why it's happening. And I think we have to actually be very clever and get into dialogue with the people who are reasonable. In reference to the comparing that to, uh, and, and I'm not sure uh, if, if somebody was tied and forced to drive a bomb and was tied up. I don't think anybody has ever, I've heard it said, but I was about at the time and I have no, there's no evidence to suggest that's what was happening. There was a very bitter and dirty war going on between the IRA and the British Army, and that became part of it. Um, but I don't think you can isolate out any one single one, because, you know, is it any worse than watching paratroopers on Roswell Street? And I watched them. I was there. I got shot at. Bullets were bunching off concrete. I watched them laughing. I watched them shoot people dead. And, and I watched them injure people. Uh, and I think if, if we want to go back over 40 years and compare what people would call atrocities, I don't think that works. What I think we need to look at when we're dealing with ISIS is why are they doing this? Some of it is to actually get ransoms and make money to drive their, 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 their war as they see it. Um, but I think, the, for me, the only thing coming out of all of this is that dialogue, discussion, uh, questioning and challenging people is the way forward. And that's, that's, how this, that's how ISIS will end. There will be negotiations with governments who negotiate with them, uh, no matter how horrific they've, they've, they've behaved, and it will end up getting sorted out through dialogue and discussion. Well, uh, ISIS are, uh, the, the term terrorist group is often used in, uh, in ways that are maybe uh, controversial or superficial. There is no doubt that ISIS are in the business of uh, absolute uh, terror. Uh, not just in terms of the terror that they're trying to do through the media and through television uh, to create uh, international shock, but what they have visited uh, on people, what they've visited uh, on people of the Muslim faith, maybe a different uh, brand of the Muslim uh, faith uh, than theirs, as well as people of the, the, the Christian faith, has been absolutely vicious and uh, appalling. In terms of how they're dealt with, the answer to that is not uh, simply to give them the military bombardment that they probably want and are ready for. They want uh, the West to go in and devastate uh, countries like Iraq again and like Syria, uh, etc., because they actually see that as creating the very space uh, in which they could thrive uh, and grow. And they see that as part of helping them to further internationalise their caliphate uh, agenda, as uh, they call it. Uh, it is very easy in supposedly countering terrorism, countering terrorism to do things that are counterproductive. Uh, that's a lesson that the British government, uh, unfortunately, still haven't learned in relation to the experience of our uh, situation. And I find myself in Westminster, unfortunately in a minority, arguing against legislative measures that they come up with as their way of coming up with some new power, uh, take away some other right, it's right to uh, remove passports and the right to uh, keep people out of the country if they're trying to come back to the country, etc. And I warn them that that is going to be uh, counterproductive, that if there are people who are out there to sow the seeds of radicalism and alienation, that you can help to propagate those seeds by the very sort of measures that the British government are coming up with and that the British Parliament uh, is doing. 
because that's helping to, helping to radicalise people uh, even here at this part of the world, never mind what it does uh, for the ISIS agenda uh, elsewhere. In terms of violence here, uh, well, the fact is, I mean, in this town, uh, Patsy Gillespie was strapped in uh, to uh, a vehicle. He was tied in and sent uh, as an unwilling uh, suicide bomber uh, to uh, Khoish Quinn. And the fact is that at the same time, at the exact same, the, at the same time, there was a similar incident in Uri. Only the person there was lucky enough to escape uh, and managed to get out uh, of the vehicle before uh, it happened and ran to raise the alert. So the idea of pretending that it never happened, it did happen. It was not the only terrible thing that happened either at the hands of the IRA or the hands of other forces, including state forces or those who were colluding with state forces. But none of that makes any of the rest of it uh, right. And no matter how vicious and how bad our situation was, we need to recognise that with ISIS there is an absolute death cult uh, there. But that means we have to be even more deliberate in dealing with it.